Today is going to be a continuation, 8.3. We're still talking about slope, um, but I'm going to kind of review some of the things that we went over yesterday. Yesterday we talked about this. Read to me what the slope formula is. Okay, it's the rise over run. Which one is the up and down? Rise. The rise, okay? When you go up, you're rising. When you go down, it's going down, okay? Running, what is that way? Left, left to right. right. When you run, you run in the direction of left to right. You do not run up or down. So make sure that this right here is something that you are memorizing. Tell me one more time, what is the slope formula? Rise over run. Good job. On your quiz on Monday, on your test next Wednesday, you're going to have to know that formula. Then we're going to go ahead and review this from the other day. Without finding the slope of the line, tell whether the slope is positive, negative, or zero. Read me what it says in the red. Okay, so I'm looking at it right here from the left, going up to the right. What direction is it going? Up, down, or staying the same? It's going up. Anytime things are going up, what is that? Positive. That is going in a positive direction. So I know when I find my slope that this needs to be a positive slope. Let's look at this one. Look at it from left to right. What is it doing? Going straight. It's going straight. It's not really doing anything. So what is my slope? Zero. Zero. Because there is no rise. There is a run, but if you don't have a rise, think about it. If my rise is zero and it's running 10, what is zero divided by 10? Zero. Zero. So anytime you have no rise, it's going to be a zero. The last one, look at it from left to right. I'm going to start right here, and I'm going this way. What direction is that going? Down. It's going negative. down. So what is that, positive, negative, or zero? Negative. That is also negative. So then I'm going to know that I would have a negative slope. So it could be negative 3, negative 5, negative 1 half. But no matter what, that slope is going to be negative because it's going down. Let's go over this, a little bit of a review from yesterday. What is the formula for finding slope? Rise over, rise over. Rise over run. So each time I'm just going to go ahead and write that down so I know what I'm looking for, rise over run. I'm going to start right here, and I'm going to count going on my rise. Is rise going up and down or left and right? Up and down. Up and down. So count with me how many I need to go up to get to this point over here. Count. One, two, three. Okay, so my rise is three. Help me out with my run. All right, it goes over four. Now, when I went up, was that positive or negative? Positive. That was positive. When I went this way, was that positive or negative? negative? Negative, I'm going backwards. So my correct answer, can that be reduced at all? No. no. So my slope is negative three-fourths. Is there anything that I need to erase before I move on? The, oh. the lines. All the counting, this extra work, you just want to go ahead and get rid of that, okay? So here you can see, if I started right here and I went downward, should that be positive, negative, or zero? Negative. 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 And as you can see in my answer, it is a negative answer, negative three-fourths. My instructions say, draw the graph of the line that passes through the points, then find the slope of the line. So the first thing I'm going to have to do is find where these points are. Who can come up here and show me where 1 and negative 1 is? Come on up. Right, when plotting a point, where do you always start? Zero. Start at 0, 0. You're always going to start at the origin. Then you're going to go which way? Over to 1 and then down to negative 1. That is correct. Who would like to come up to plot the next one? All right, come on up. Once again, you're always going to start at the origin. He went over to 3 and then up to 3. Okay, you're always going to be labeling a line, all right? So now what do I have to do, guys? Draw your line. Okay, I connect the dots. I'm drawing my graph, and this is how we draw the graph. Now, my instructions, did it just say to draw the line? Okay, always make sure that you read all the instruction. It also tells us to find the slope of the line. What is my formula for finding slope? Rise over run. Rise over run. So let's find the rise and then find the run. I want you guys to do it on your own and then stand beside your chair when you think you know what the slope is. Help me out. We're starting at that bottom dot. Count it for me. Go ahead. One, keep going. Okay, so we went up four, and then you've got to do the run. Is the run up and down or left and right? 
left and right. So start from right here where you just were at and go which way, left or right? right. Go to the right, how many? Two. Over two. Okay, so I went up four and I went over two. When you go up, is that positive or negative? Positive. positive. When you go right, is that positive or negative? Positive. positive. So we are getting a positive answer here. Oops. But can that be reduced at all? Yes. yes. What is four divided by two? Two. Okay, it's two over one, which equals two. So the slope is two. Anytime that you have this right here, a one at the bottom, you can just get rid of it. Okay, now look. If I started right here and I'm going up, is that positive or negative? Positive. positive. And was my answer positive or negative? Positive. All right, so that was just kind of an extra special way to check. Is there anything that I need to do before I'm finished with this problem? Erase the count. Erase, the count. Erase all the extra stuff so all you have left is just your graph. We've got one more example here. We're going to plot the points 0 and negative 2. Kayla, come on up. I want you to show me where 0 and negative 2 is on our graph. Where do we always start whenever we're graphing points? Start at the origin, okay, and then you moved over to negative two. Excellent. Come on up and do the next one for me, please, Tati. All right, as we're looking at how that's plotted, what is the zero for, the X or the Y? The X. The X, this right here is the X. So that means I don't move anywhere on the X line. Then I've gotta to go to negative two for my Y. So Kayla, where would that one be? No, not right there. You gotta stay at the zero, okay? So I'm not moving anywhere right here. I stay at that zero, and then I go to negative two. When you go down, that would be the negative two. So your point should be right here, okay? All right, help me with the next one. Start at the zero, go to negative two, and then up to two. That is correct. What do I have to do now, guys? Draw the dots. Connect the dots or draw the line. Okay, so now we have got here, this is the slope, but we've got to figure out what the slope is because my instructions are asking me what the slope is. What is the formula for slope? Rise over run. I want you guys to find this on your own and figure out what you're rising and then what you're running. When you look at this, uh, this line right here, do you think we're going to get a positive, negative, or zero slope? It's going to be a negative slope because it's sloping downward. So I know for sure it's going to be negative. Let's figure out. Let's go ahead and count up. Count with me. One, two, three, four. Okay, I went up four. Is that positive or negative? Positive. That is positive. Now I've got to go how many? One. Negative. One, two. I went to the left. Is that negative or positive? Negative. Negative two. Okay, can four over negative two be reduced at all? Yeah. To what? Two. Negative two. Okay, it would be 2 over negative 1, and the same thing as 2 over negative 1 is negative 2. All right, so your slope is negative 2. Anything I need to do before we're done with this problem? Erase, erase, erase. erase the work right there. Okay, and your slope is negative 2. Write this down for me for number 4. Draw the line that has the given shape and passes through the groove and point. Plot the point from then from... Okay, here's what I want you to do. Read me the part in the red. Go ahead. Plot the point. Stop right there. That's my first step. Plot the point. So here's what my instructions say. The slope is going to be negative 3, and it will pass through the point 2 and 5. So the first thing you need to do is find where 2 and 5 is. For the 2, do I go left, right, up, or down? Left. The 2. I'm going to go to the right. Okay, you start at the origin, you go over to 2. Now I've got to go to 5. Is that up, down, left, or right? Up, because that's my Y. So I go over to 2 and up to 5. I did my first thing. I have to plot my point. Now, I've said after that, then from the point, I'm at 2 and 5, follow the slope. What is my slope? Now tell me one more time. What is the slope formula? Rise over run. Now, when I'm looking at this, I do not see a rise and a run. All I see is a rise, okay? So I've got negative 3. What number will automatically go under if there is no number there? One. Negative 3 over 1. So I have to start from this point right here and then go negative 3 and 1. So negative 3, is that going to be up, down, left, or right? Down. It's down because I'm doing my, my rise and my run. So I'm going to go down 3, 1, 2, 3. 
I just did that right there for my rise, down three. Now I've got to do my run, which is one. Is that going to be up, down, left, or right? Yes. Yeah. No. I am left running. Right. Running cannot go up and down. Running goes left or right. So if I'm doing positive one, should that be to the right or to the left? To the left. Right. I'm, I'm here, to the right. I'm going to show you something. To the right, to the right. Listen. Think about having an X and a Y coordinate plane. If I go up, what is that going to be? Positive or negative? Positive. That's positive. Anytime you go up, it's positive. If you go down, what is it? Negative. negative. If I go left, it's going to be what? Negative. negative. Those are all my negative numbers. If I go to the right, what is it? Positive. 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 So right now, I am going from this point right here, and I have to go to a 1. Is that a positive 1 or a negative 1? It's a positive one. So which direction, right or left, for a positive? Right. Going to the right. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and plot that point. When I do this kind of work, I'm going to get rid of my work shown there. And I have to plot one more point in order to come up with a line. So we're going to start from this point that we're at right here. And we're going to do our slope again. What was my slope? Negative, Negative 3 over 1. one. Negative three, which direction am I going? Left. Nope. Left. Negative three. If you look right yeah, here, the down. negative three is my rise. So which way is the rise, up or down? down. It's going to be going down. So I've got to go down three because that's negative three. One, two, three. And I've got to do my run. Is run left and right or up and down? Right. It's left and right. If I have a positive one, is that left or is that right? Right. Going to the right. So plot your next point. You're going to erase your work. Now that I have plotted two points, aside from my two and five, I'm going to go ahead and connect the dots. And I'm going to reread my instructions to make sure I've done what I'm supposed to do. It says draw the line, which we did, that has the slope, which we did, and passes through the given point, which we did. So this is complete, and we have now done everything that we need to do for problem four. The first thing you have to do is plot your point. So we're going to go negative three and then down to negative four. Now that we've done that, our notes tell us now we can find the slope. Here's what I want to point out to you. 3 and 2, that's the slope. It is not a point because I had some people who went over 3 and then up 2 and they said, all right, that's it, and they drew their line. The slope, it was never going to be a point on your graph, okay? So that would not be correct. What the slope is, tell me the formula one more time. Rise over run. Rise over run. So you're going to rise 3 because it tells me my slope is 3 over 2. I'm going to rise 3, so I go up 3, 1, 2, 3, and over 2, 1, 2, and then I will plot that point, okay? Then I'm going to rise 3 more because i got to do it again, 1, 2, 3, and over 2, 1, 2, and I will plot that point. Some people turned in their work to me and they still had these little dots. I want you to get rid of them so you can have a nice, clean graph. So we'll get rid of that, and now what do I have to do? Connect the dots. Connect the dots to draw my graph. When I go back and see, all it asked me to do was to draw the graph for this, and I have done it. So that is all that you need today for our review on 8.3. This is your homework for tonight. It's just 10 problems on page 381. And you guys may go ahead and get started on that.